Good afternoon. This is Between the Lines live at SanduskyRegistered.com, and we're really excited today. We have the champ, Division II champion Sandusky Blue Streak basketball team here with us in the Market Street studio. I uh, just want to mention Between the Lines is brought to you by Serving Our Seniors. When you need help, call 419 624 one eight five six serving our seniors for Erie County residents age sixty and better. And with that, I want to pan and show the whole team. Coach Irish in the middle, Jay Reese Williams on the end, Jamonte Alexander over there on the left, Brent Hanson, Brent Hanson, Kavaka. All right, and then we have the whole rest of the team going this way. We're going to try and give everybody an opportunity to say hello. These are the Division Two Sandusky High School Blue Streaks champions so congratulations on on your season thank you for being here you've got a big game tomorrow and we don't want to take up too much of your time because you have some practice a little bit later coach irish what what do you credit this team with this victory our unity uh we're really close as a unit group everybody's bought into what we have to do and uh we're playing together as a team and tomorrow night how does it look? Same intensity. We have to play very good defense. We have to be very patient on both ends of the floor. And I want us our kids to enjoy what we're doing and have fun with it. All right. And you guys enjoyed your season? You can speak out loud. Yes, sir. <laughs> and talk to Jay Reese Williams a little bit. Jay Reese, you've had an outstanding season. Uh, 1,700 points, 1,714 7, points. Uh, how, how did you manage that? Um, pretty much just hard work and then uh listen to my coaches i mean just help me excel on the court are, are you are you surprised with that level of success or did you expect to reach that level of a success this year i mean it was always goals so it was basically i was just chasing those goals and uh just believing in myself to do it and you are the all-time scoring king for sandusky high school how's that feel uh, I mean, it feels good, but I'm, I'm, I'm humble. I'm You're gonna humble. brag about it. <laughs> and do, do you know who Scott May is? Uh, yeah, I know him. Uh, I never met him though, but I, I, I know of him. So you, you have about 500 points more than Scott May, I think. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of points. That's a lot of points. Thank you for being here, and thank you for a great season. It's been amazing watching you. And Jamonte, I wanted to mention Jamonte. Jamonte is. Uh, you're a longtime Nehemiah Center uh, kid, is that right? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> how, have, how have you enjoyed your season? Uh, I enjoyed it very much. What's uh, What's it like to be a champion? It feels good. <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> and, and what's it like to be a champion? It was very exciting. Yeah. How was this week at school? Uh, I mean, same old, same old. But are, are they happy? Or are you uh, I mean, yeah, they happy, y'all. Okay, and let's just just go right down the, the, the row here if we can. Do you think we can try that, Aaron? All right, so I'm going to hand the microphone off, and, and I will speak loudly. Will that work? Oh, that won't work. Okay, so the question for each of you is, is how does it feel to be a champion? Think about that for a moment, and you go first real quick. And hold the microphone up to your close-up. Uh, it's, it feel a, to be a champion? it's exciting. It's a good feeling. And your name? And uh, Caleb Alexander. My name is Brian Sidon, Brian Slaughter. Um, it feels good. Uh, we feel respected. Hold it close. My name is Keisha Newell. Um, it feels good, but at the same time, we're not done yet, so we're going to keep moving forward. My name is Javez Alexander, and um, Everything feels great. Everything's exciting. You got the kids in school. That's very uplifting and um, showing us great recognition of all our accomplishments. And yeah, everything's great. My name is Elijah Woods. Um, it feels real good to be a champion, uh, but we got to stay humble and uh, keep thinking of the bigger goal of getting to Columbus. Hi, right, my name is Farrell Williams. And to be a champion, it feels real good. Just to see all the hard work pay off that we put in during the practice days. Very good. Uh, my name is Bo Rodon, and uh, it, just feel, it feel good to be a champion. <laughs> so, 
tomorrow night is uh, the regional semifinal, semifinal in, against Wauseon at the University of Toledo. So what is your game plan for tomorrow night? And you can hold the mic. Um, defensive pressure, uh, patience, because uh, they're fairly big. They have a Division One recruit, 6'9", center. Um, and they're, they're big and stocky and, and big, strong, athletic players. So we have to be patient and try and wear them out throughout the second half. Wear them out throughout the second half. And that, that's been part of your game plan all season is to just – it's it, you mentioned it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Is that – what what is work? This has been – this is the – what is – let me see what this is. This is the second straight year you've won the Northern Ohio League. You finished number 13 in the final Associated Press State Poll. You are 21-4 and four entering Thursday's Division II regional semifinals against number 8, Wauseon. Uh, the game is at the University of Toledo. Uh, and Jay Reese Williams is a two-time Division II AP Northwest District Player of the Year and has 1,714 points. Uh, what do you attribute the success to? Why is it working so well? The hard work that the kids have put in, but it's a, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. You said the sprint's not a marathon, <laughs> so let's get that. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Um, the hard work. Um, you know, I, I explain at the end of every season we get better from the last game to the first practice. And I think some of the guys have put in a lot of work in the off season. And as I said before, we've bought into our message, which is our defensive intensity. We gave up eight points in, in pretty much the second half on the floor of the game against Lexington. And um, we held Perkins to 14 points in the second half. I believe. So it's 22 points we've given up in the last two games in the second half. And if we can do anything close to that, we'll be very successful. Okay. And um, t tomorrow night, and what comes after tomorrow night? Um, it'll be the regional final at Saturday. So we plan on coming home with a victory tomorrow night. And we'll have one day to prepare for the winner of um, Holy Name and Elida. Uh, Holy Name knocked us out two years ago. So it'd be nice to get a second opportunity to them. But right now we can't worry about who we're going to play, we have to worry about Wauseon. Okay. And, and from here, where, where's the team going from here? You're going back to the gym? Yep. We, uh, and, we and how long will practice be and how hard will it be? Uh, we'll just fine-tune some things, get a lot of shots up. We'll be about an hour and a half to two hours today, work on some free throws. We have to work on those because uh, <laughs> no, that's, a, that's a personal joke I have with some of the guys. But we'll do some free throw shooting and, and get a lot of shots up today and, and save our legs for tomorrow because it's going to be a, it's going to be a tough – we're going to a court we haven't seen before. It's a long court, so we have to have our legs and, and be ready to go out and execute. Okay. I wanted to give uh, Mark Norman an opportunity to ask some questions. He's been a fan all season and going to the games, and, and he had some interesting questions before we got started. Mark, you want to grab the microphone? Thank you. Um, we'll just go back to the questions we asked earlier. Uh, so, Brent, where did you learn um, to work the big man uh, the way that you do? You just do uh, a remarkable job. Excellent question. How, how do you defend against the big man, uh, which is, always seems you're up against in, in every game? Uh, I just play with a lot of heart. And uh, ever since I was younger, I always went against somebody bigger than me. So... I'm just used to it playing a bigger guy. It's no, it's no, nothing new when you were younger. Okay, just want to make sure about that. Mark, how about another question? Um, Jerry, so asked you earlier about this, but just your composure. Other uh, other teams, the players and other teams, uh, seem to sometimes have something they want to prove uh, in guarding you, but you really keep your composure and, and let your skills speak for themselves. Um, so, do you feel that pressure? And also, are you aware of the fans when they're when they're when when you have a full house like they did the other night? Um, I kind of just uh, block the fans out, you know. But at the free throw line, I, I hear them. So, but I still just trying to block it out and uh, worry about the free throw. And then, uh, as far as the, uh, the opponent, you know, I just I, I laugh at it. I get entertainment out of it uh, when he tries to get in my head. Very good, Mark. Did you have another question, uh, Coach Irish? How did you get them to buy in? I mean, the pace is just remarkable. When they come off the bench, they don't walk in. They're they're ready to go. It doesn't matter who's coming in. It doesn't affect the seem to affect the pace. How did you get them to buy into that work ethic? I mean, because it is really remarkable the pace that they that they maintain throughout the game. 
Uh, we've been delivering the same message about defense wins championships. We can deliver anything we want to, but at the end of the day, it's up to these young men to go out and execute the game plan. Um, and you'll have to ask them why they chose to buy in. We had a few hiccups early in the year, and we sat down and, and talked about some of our goals. And one of our goals is getting to where we are right now and keep going. But they have chosen to buy in as a unit um, on what we need to get done. And we've done an unbelievable job the second half of the season. Since the calendar flipped, I believe we won seven out of 18 games. And that's an unbelievable accomplishment. They, they make us know what we look like we're doing. We have a great coaching staff and Coach Moore and Coach Mailer and, and Coach Nedgedly. And uh, we just keep delivering a constant message about defense wins championships. And we know the offense will take care of itself. And they have chose to actually live by that. And that's where we are. Mark's taking over. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Good. Go ahead. Um, I, I read an editorial. I wrote an editorial uh, several weeks ago. It didn't really get into the paper, but it was online. And um, I, I think the same. I want to say the same thing again. You guys have remarkable skills. Your focus, your commitment, um, the ability to work under pressure, to be creative. All of those are executive skills that are going to make you fine, fine leaders in the future, no matter what you choose to do. And I hope that this community. Uh, is a place to where you can come back and offer your leadership because, um, again, if, if I had jobs to offer, um, you are exactly the kind of uh, men that I would be looking for to hire. Uh, with that, I, I don't want to keep you up. Uh, I, don't want, I, I know you got to get to practice, but I, I want to ask if there's any player that wants to answer this question. What does being part of this program mean to you, uh, to be part of this team, and, and what does it mean to you? Being part of this team means that it means more than just being a team. It means we're a brotherhood, a family. It means we're together. And, uh, Anybody else want to take that question? Come on, don't be shy. What's it mean to be part of this team? Okay. Uh, pretty much being a part of the team is it's. I mean, it's a great feeling once you get on the court or anything with the, with each other. Like as a brotherhood, like like he said, everyone they rely on each other. We come together as a family and we commit to one goal, the same goal, and that's to eventually come out with a win and to wear the the blue streaks on the front of your shirt. It's just it's a great feeling. Good answer. Good answer. Well, I, I want to thank all of you for being here and Coach Irish and, and arranging this. And I want to congratulate you for what you did this season, what you showed the community you're made of. And, you know, we've got a vast uh, studio audience. So I want you to give yourselves a, a wild round of applause. You deserve it. You deserve it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being the team that you are. Good luck tomorrow night. Good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very much for being here.